if you find yourself waking up with a stiff or sore neck or shoulders, you're not alone. In this video, I'm going to explain why that happens and one very easy thing that you can do as you fall asleep that decreases the chances that you're gonna wake up with that sore neck tomorrow morning. Hi, I'm Catherine, the founder and principal therapist of Leighton Sports Massage. In this channel, I share simple self-care tips and information about how your body works so that you can live your day-to-day -day life and enjoy your favorite activities as close to pain-free as possible. This video was adapted from one of our question of the months on the website because I was getting it a lot from clients. People were coming in and they were going, what pillow should I use? I'm waking up and my neck is so stiff and so sore. It's gotta be my pillow. What do I need to change it to? Now, I'm not a pillow expert, but in my experience, if we loosen up all the muscles around the neck and the shoulders, you don't need to change your pillow. But that said, there is one habit that people tend to have when they fall asleep that actually can mean that you wake up with a sore neck and shoulders. Now, the way that I discovered this myself is a couple of mornings I was waking up with a sore neck and shoulders. And it was weird because usually I don't have that problem. Yes, I have tension in my neck. Yes, I should get more massages than I do. But like most of the time, I'm okay. And I noticed that this period where I was waking up with a stiff neck and shoulders in the morning, where it just felt like a bit creaky and like hard to move around, were also times that I was having a lot of mental chatter at night, like stuff going on in my head, and I was having trouble getting to sleep. And so the next night that I had this and my head was going blah, 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 blah. I thought, you know what, let me just check my neck and my shoulders. And I took a deep breath. And as I exhaled, I let go of my head and let go of my shoulders. And to my surprise, everything relaxed into the pillow. My head dropped like two inches. My shoulders went down, like relaxed into the side of the bed. And I realized that I had been sleeping like this with my neck and my shoulders tense, which seems crazy, right? Like why would I be tensing my shoulders in my bed? Well, what seems to happen, what I can gather from having worked with a few clients like this, is that we end up walking around like this all day when we're, we're going through a stressful time or when we're tense about something. And because that's kind of programmed into us, then we lay down and our body just holds on to that pattern. And it's like, oh, well, we've been tensing our neck and shoulders all day, so we should therefore tense them at night as well. And it's harder to relax when you have a lot of stuff going on in your head. And so then you sleep like that. And of course, if you're tensing your muscles and not moving in bed for eight or six hours, however much sleep you get, you're gonna wake up and have a sore neck and shoulders. So what I tell people to do is take a deep breath. As you exhale, let go of your head, let go of your shoulders and see what happens. And almost everyone who has woken up with a sore neck when they've come to me and said this, who have then gone away and tried this technique have not had a sore neck and shoulders in the morning. Now it's a bit of a pattern interrupter. So what you might find is that you do it once and then a few minutes later, as you start thinking about something again, you do it again and realize your neck and shoulders have tensed up again. So do this a few times as you fall asleep, like two or three, four max. What I don't want you to do, this is what one client did, is when she came in, she's like, it's great, but I keep thinking about letting go of my neck and my shoulders and I can't get to sleep. And so I was like, okay, don't do that. Don't keep yourself awake trying to make sure that you're staying relaxed. But if you do it a few times, that should make it better. And that kind of teaches your body not to tense up as you're falling asleep. The other thing that I would recommend, and this is the only thing that I say about pillows really, is to check when you're sleeping. So let's say that this is the pillow. Check to make sure that your head is straight up and down or lower than your um, midline. Because the one thing that I have found to be true consistently with pillows is that if people are waking up with a sore neck and it's the side that they sleep down on, they almost always have two pillows and they're sleeping like this. And so then what seems to happen is that their head naturally kind of pushes down so it's level. It doesn't happen so much when it's down to lift up, 
but it happens a lot. And then when I tell people to lose one pillow, then that pain goes away and they don't even really need to do the breathing exercise. So that is one thing I would say you can try with a pillow. Now that's not to say that changing a pillow won't change your neck and shoulder pain. For some people it's really helpful, but I would say if you do carry a lot of neck and shoulder pain tension, it's probably better to try and get rid of it than it is to compensate around it and then just let it get tighter. So quick and easy, take a couple of deep breaths, let go of everything in your neck and shoulders, see if you can relax, and it's a very easy way to avoid that stiff neck and shoulder pain in the morning. Now for some people, you will be carrying a lot more tension, so you may need to go see a massage therapist or someone who is really familiar with the muscles in the neck and the shoulders and can help you get rid of that tension. It's often related to poor posture. At my clinic, if you're in London, we have a desk workers MOT. Um, that you can come in and do or just a general MOT where we kind of check the muscles any niggles you have and give you some advice as well as massage or if you do work at a desk and you'd like to improve your posture and you think maybe your posture is one of the reasons why you're getting sore neck and shoulders there's a link to download the desk posture checklist below thank you so much for watching if you have any questions about this please leave a comment or if you try it does it work? Let me know. So let other people know as well. Because when people see comments of, oh, I tried this and this really works, it encourages them to try it. And then they can stop waking up with a sore neck and shoulders too. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel so that you're notified as we release new videos. And if you know anyone who might like this, please share and let them know to try this tip. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.